Oh, what happened, little kitty? Something big, kitty. Oh, it's just an ant. Don't worry, the pain will go away in some time. Well, I'll answer that along with a stinging question. How do ants bite you? Zoom in! Ants are tiny insects, varying in size from minuscule to about an inch long. They have three main body parts, the head, thorax and abdomen, all protected by a tough exoskeleton. With six legs and antennae for sensing, Ants come in a variety of colors, including black, brown, red, and even green or yellow. But one of the most remarkable features of ants is their specialized mouth parts called mandibles, which they use for biting and chewing. Additionally, out of the 12,000 known species, approximately 71% of them have stingers. These stingers are found only in female ants, particularly in queen and worker ants. Now the vital question is, how do these ants bite or sting us in the first place? Well, ants with only mandibles tend to grasp onto your skin and exert pressure to bite down on the target. On the other hand, some ant species take it a step further by cutting open your skin, then from specialized glands present near their mandibles or other parts of the body, they release irritants like formic acid, causing additional discomfort or pain. And if you think that's enough, wait until you meet ants armed with both powerful mandibles and sharp stingers. Once one of these ants gets hold of its target, it firmly grabs their skin with pinchers and arches its body to extend its abdomen toward the target, effectively deploying its stinger, which is a modified ovipositor located at the rear end of the abdomen. Then the ant penetrates the stinger into the grasped skin and thrusts it back and forth to release a neurotoxin venom. This venom contains various compounds that can cause pain, irritation and sometimes allergic reactions in humans, which may require immediate medical attention. But why do ants bite in the first place? Well, ants are highly territorial creatures and when they feel threatened by a larger animal or human intruder, they will bite as a form of defense. Additionally, ants may also bite if they mistake you for food or if they feel trapped and unable to escape. However, it's not just for defense. Ants also use bites to communicate with each other. Yes, through these bites, ants secrete pheromones, which are chemical substances that act as signals or alert other ants to potential danger or lead them to a source of food. But remember my friends, while many ant bites cause only minor discomfort, it's crucial to be cautious around certain species like fire ants and bullet ants, particularly if you're allergic or sensitive to insect bites. So when encountering ants during your adventures, tread lightly and respect their space. You never know when they might bite. Ouch! Trivia time! Did you know that ants can lift 10 to 50 times their body weight? To put it into perspective, if humans could lift 10 times their weight, a 200 pound man could lift a small car above his head. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Vivin Aurora. Hope you enjoyed today's fun facts. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.